Hello, I'm David Alderton, editor of Practical Reptile Keeping, and this video is about ways of feeding your tortoise. Tortoises, the first thing it has to be said, are mainly vegetarian, and the species that we'll be focusing on in this video are the Mediterranean ones, that are the typical garden tortoise from years gone by. So we're looking at the Hermans, the Mediterranean Spurthide, Horsefields, and the marginated. In a typical garden, there's a lot of plants that tortoises will enjoy eating. Um, this is a typical example uh, known as chickweed and anything, of course, in the dandelion um, line they like, and clover. Uh, there's a wide range of um, small herby plants that they will feed on very readily. And these have a varied range of ingredients, and so it's much better to use a range of foodstuffs for them than it is to just focus on feeding one particular type. People often worry about what tortoises might eat in the garden that would be harmful to them, but in reality they've got a very strong sense of self-preservation when it comes to food and they won't eat plants that are likely to be toxic to them. There's been very little work carried out though on toxicity and tortoises when it comes to feeding. It's important to err on the side of caution. There are certain plants that you should never offer your tortoise and these include anything that grows from a bulb. So daffodils, bluebells, all those types of garden plants should never be offered as food to a tortoise. There are also a number of wild plants that are potentially harmful, uh, particularly ragwort could be in this category. Tortoises are influenced by colours when it comes to choosing food and they seem to like items that are in the red and yellow colour categories. Um, they shouldn't be offered fruit like strawberries though because the sugar content of these is, is excessive and is likely to give your pet diarrhoea. So it's not recommended. You need to be careful because there are some plants with yellow flowers and I'm thinking here particularly of buttercups uh, that are potentially dangerous. So don't be guided just by colour. Go online and look for lists of plants that are safe and recommended for wherever you are in the world. So it's not always easy, of course, to have the right availability of fresh food for your tortoise, even during the summer. So this has been a real innovation in terms of uh, feeding tortoises. And it's a mixture of specially selected f um, plants that you can grow very easily at home in an area of soil in your garden and create a small mini tortoise paddock where your pet can wander and browse and enjoy these plants. Very easy to sow as I say. Start in the spring before your tortoise is ready to go out from hibernation and then by the time that uh, things have warmed up the plants will be growing well and your pet can get maximum benefit from fresh food full of vitamins at that stage of the year. It's not just during the spring and summer though that these weed mixes are very valuable as tortoise food. You can use them right through the year for a tortoise on a tortoise table simply by getting a tray from a supermarket, filling it with a bit of soil or compost and then sprinkling the seed on top and waiting for it to germinate. It's so much better to grow your own than it is to rely on supermarket greens because they actually have very little nutriment for a tortoise. Lettuce, for example, it's great as a treat occasionally because tortoises will eat that very well, but really it's only a source of fluid. It's nothing more in terms of nutrients compared to, say, dandelions, which you find in a mix like this, which have more calcium in them than a glass of milk. I'm going to show you another option, uh, which will give you plants a bit quicker. Uh, I mean, this is always useful if during the winter you've got a sick tortoise that you've got to feed and uh, rekindle its appetite with something fresh and also uh, with a good nutritional value. Simply chop it up into pieces just over an inch long. I mean, it, you know, the, basically the longer the stem, the better the chance of it taking it. Just chop the leaves off because they're not really going to do very much. It's probably better to let, just let them grow, up, grow away. And then, from noting the way it was chopped off, putting it back in there into a pot 
of compost. Just like that. That one you can trim back. Then just push those down into the soil. Uh, put the soil back around the around the plant and keep it or hopefully plant um, and then keep keep that well watered. Within a couple of weeks or so you will have new shoots coming on top of those dandelions and will then have new plants. Another way of boosting the variety of plants in your tortoise's diet is to buy some of the more tropical plants that you can now find in your local reptile store. These have been specially cultivated. It's really worth making this point, as distinct from those you buy in garden centres. These have been grown organically. There's nothing in the, no pesticides, anything that's going to be harmful to your tortoise um, in the soil that could have been taken up by the plant and could then harm your pet. So this particular example is appropriately called turtle vine, Calicia repens, and as you can see it trails down the side of the pot very nicely so it's something that you can grow without any great difficulty because these bits that break off come off um, you can just root them in a pot of water and then plant those out and you can sort of set up a sort of mini culture if you like all through the winter months when food a variety of food particularly is hard to acquire there's been a rapid increase in the number of formulated diets for tortoises that are now on the market, commonly known as tortoise pellets. These, as you can see, come in a range of different colours and different consistencies. These pellets have been carefully researched and tested to see that they meet the requirements of tortoises, providing a useful nutritional lift to their diet over and above that of plant matter. They haven't got that natural give that a tortoise is used to in its food. And one of the ways that people are getting around that is to suggest soaking them, but you've got to do it in such a way that you don't put so much water in, you flood the pellets and they break down and dissolve because then the tortoise will have no interest in them at all. The other thing that has to be said is that once they have been soaked they have a very limited period in which they can be kept safely and offered to your tortoise so only soak a small amount for your tortoise there's a range of specially formulated powder supplements that you can now acquire for your tortoise make sure it's all shaking through and because the food has actually been washed off first just in case it had been contaminated by any wild animals um, you can see that it actually sticks very well to the uh, surface of the leaves bear in mind critically though that a little may be very good but a lot doesn't mean that your tortoise will benefit accordingly in fact if you use too much of a supplement on a regular basis the chances are it could affect your tortoise's health. So always read the instructions concerning the amount of a supplement that you should be using and measure it out carefully before you put it onto your tortoise's food. <laughs>